Hey guys, Richie here from RW Hobbies. This is part number three of my Dreamliner build in a beautiful R2D2 ANA livery. So we did the hard work and got the thing built last week. So this week we're gonna do the painting. So we're gonna take care of the, um, the whole fuselage, the wings, and get it ready for the decals. So let's go ahead and get started. Welcome back, hope you had a great weekend, and now we're on part three, which is the my favorite part of painting. So we assembled it. Um, just one thing to note since last week, I did just do a quick rescribing just over the top of the fuselage here and the bottom, um, nothing major. And also noticed they had big sink marks and these guys at the back here. Um, these four in particular. So I just filled them and sanded them down a little bit just to kind of get rid of that sink mark. Um, but no, we're ready to go. So I took a wet paper towel and wiped this over. It's now dry, get rid of all the dust from the sanding. And I know 100%, 99% of the time I do my priming with black, because I don't, especially with white, this is gonna be a white fuselage, but black's a really nice solid color. It makes the white look good. I use Mr. Service of 1500 black, but this time, spoiler alert, we're gonna do something different. Ah, we've, I've had this in my, this gray uh, Samir service primer for years, I don't know, not years, but maybe a couple of years or so. Never used it, and I figured, you know what, let's just spray it with this, because it's gonna be a big lump, and rather than getting the airbrush out and spraying all this stuff, and using all the paints and stuff, it'd be easy just to kind of spray it real quick with this stuff. So as always with spray paint, I'm gonna spray it outside in the fresh air. I've got an old cardboard box I use, I'll put it in there and catch the overspray, and just light thin misting coats. Um, so with this I'll probably go, um, maybe, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes in between coats, just a quick spray. Sh sh and then let it go for 10 minutes and do another one until we get the thing fully covered and looking good. At which point we can check the seams and then we'll know then if we can proceed on to the, um, the base color, which will be the white. So let me get my um, stuff ready. I'll go outside, get it sprayed, and I'll come back. All right, so we primed it using the, um, the service primer. Beautiful, nice and smooth. Oh, dropping a can. Um, beautiful, nice and smooth. Um, the wings look really good. Really happy how they turned out. Um, now the only thing is, this gray is the exact same gray color as a plastic, so it's kind of hard to spray, it's identical shades. So, anyway, it's fine, but um, long here, there's just a little bit, a few scratches, a little bit clean up, just get it perfect along the top here. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of sanding and just take the scratches out and get it a little bit nicer. Um, also, might do a little work here back with the windows. You can see how it's um, not quite perfect there, but needs a little bit more work on the main fuselage. Nothing much, just a little bit here and there. Um, definitely in the bottom here needs some work too. So hope, that's the whole point of primer, just to make sure it works and um, you know, see how it looks before we get the paint down. So I'm gonna um, definitely take care of some of this work here, but the wings are ready to go. Now, we're gonna move this on the step. So with Dream, well, typically with aircraft, airliners, you got gray wings and you got white fuselage. That's kind of a stereotypical kind of color scheme. With the Dreamliner being co composite materials, it's all white, so all the wings are white, and they match the fuselage on this scheme, so it's gonna be all white. So, if you live in the United Kingdom, go to Halfords and get the appli white appliance primer. That's been a go-to paint for airline model makers for years and years and years. I don't know if you still, I'm sure you still buy it, but appliance white, um, as I'm in the US, I don't have a Halfords. Um, I'm sure there's an equivalent appliance white at the, at the hardware store, but what I found is, I really like the, sticking with the Tamiya Gravel Cans, is TS26, the white. It's a really nice glossy white. Um, I just really like using this for airliners. I think it's a perfect color for me, and I'm gonna use this. Now, if it was a smaller aircraft, I'd probably decant this and use an airbrush. But again, as it's a huge lump, I'm just gonna keep, continue and just keep using the spray cans for today. So it's a lot easier, like no cleanup and stuff. So this, as you can hear, this one's always empty. So I do have another one here too. Um, but yeah, I do like the, um, these white and being outside right now, it's, it's pretty hot, so it's going to dry, you know, within a few minutes. So I'm going to hit the wing. So I'm going to hit the wings with a white. Um, I'm going to finish off the fuse large and clean that up, and then reprime it. And then when I'm happy, I'll do that with white as well. So I'll get the white down, and I'll come back, and you can see can see how we look. Okay, so we're done with the white um, using the TS26. And by that sound, you can tell it's pretty much empty. So I used pretty much a whole can on this. So a lot of paint. Um, you definitely use more paint with a can than you would if you kind of decanted it, I guess. And um, yeah, I did try spraying the smaller parts like the stabilizers, and that was a bit of a fail. Um, it just flooded it. So I'm gonna have to, hopefully a little bit left in here, I'm gonna decant and we'll airbrush um, the stabilizers and the engines and stuff. But everything else is done. Um, let me kind of show you what we've got going on. Um, 
little hesitant touching this because you know normally lacquer paints like these can like um, you know lacquer paints for the airbrush dry you know minutes, but with this can it's you know very thick, so it's taking a little bit longer to, to dry. Um, I think maybe upwards of maybe 24 hours until you can mask it and stuff. But you can see there the shine on the wings and um, how well it looks. I just love the TS26, just a pure white and looks so good. And again, on here, um, you can see how shiny and glossy that is, which is obviously we're going for the glossy, shiny look. A um, few little imperfections and marks here and there, but we've got so many decals to wrap around this thing, you don't really see so much. You know, the decals are going to smother it. So I want to let this dry a little bit more, and then what we'll do is we'll mask up the front, so I'm going to paint the front gray, which I'm going to use probably um, XF19, a light gray, which looks very similar to the reference picks. Now, let me grab, so we've got the decals here, and you can see what we've got going on. So this is one giant decal. I mean, it's massive. It's bigger than my hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these down into more magical pieces and apply them. Um, obviously, you know, decals for a different day, but what I need to do is to understand where the the line I'm going to mask for the gray is going to be lined with this guy right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the front part of the decal carefully, this part right here, and that sits right behind the flight deck. And then I'm just going to place it on the on the um, the jet on the fuselage and kind of wrap it round and then from there I can see exactly where I need to mask it um, so I'm gonna mask it along this black line right here and then um, mask it and then we'll spray the gray so that's the game plan so again cut this a little bit out this is a one giant huge decal which just seems like it you know say it's gonna wrap around the whole thing and um, so a lot of this paint what you're not gonna see but cool that's the game plan anyway so let me um, start working on that and I'll come back with a little update when I'm done all right, so I've painted the gray at the front. So quick tip, what I did was, I don't know why I didn't think of this, but I just took the um, whole decal sheet and I have like an all-in-one printer. So I put it in there and basically photocopied it and just cut it cut it out the front bit. So I just photocopied, obviously one-to-one -one scale and um, just placed it where I needed it to be and then just taped it and sprayed the front. Which looks a little silly now because obviously it's super glossy and this is flat, but once we add a clear coat on the end, it's all gonna be the same kind of sheen. Um, and look fine but um, yeah so that's done taped on um, I did use XF19 but it was a little too dark so I had a bunch of white to kind of relighten it down what I basically did was I looked at pictures on the screen on my computer and I just keep adding white until I got to the right shade of grey I needed um, so that bit's done no problems at all and all we got left now to paint is the well we've got a few things we've got left to paint the main scheme should I say is the front of the nose and that's going to be blue. So what I did was I just looked at the decals and looked at some blues I had. And actually the first one I opened was um, XF4, sorry, XF8 flat blue. And you know what? That's in the right ballpark. It's not a million miles away. So we're going to use XF8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask the um, the nose, which is quite easy to see. It's, you know, it's raised detail here. So that'll be masked um, and then painted blue. And then we're done with the main fuselage. But then, not to forget, we've got to paint the back, the APU exhaust, and we've got to paint the leading edge of the... the um, tail here too with an aluminum color um, once that's done we can clear coat it all and then work onto the decals so yeah a lot of stuff going on um, so far so good so like I said the next step is going to be the blue so it's going to be XF8 alrighty so the blue's done at the front now we're going to the back and we got the front of the tail here and we got the back the EPU exhaust two colors left to go so I'm just going to go with the model air aluminum for the leading edge and steel for the back here where the APU is. Um, cool, so let me go ahead and get these sprayed and we'll be right back. All right, so we're all painted up and the gray's looking shiny and the blue is all matching and same sheen and stuff. That's because I just gave everybody just a quick clear coat of LP9, my go-to gloss lacquer and I uh, really like using it. So everything's clear coated and ready for decals. So got the um, steel paint at the back, we got the aluminum or aluminum for the um, leading edge there and we've got the gray at the front and um, yeah it's looking a little bit unusual right now but once we get those um, decals on it's going to look um, awesome I think um, and also did the wings the leading edges just mastered up and painted them again same aluminium um, to get a little bit mark here just need to touch that bit up there but um, what else oh when I ripped the master tape off, I pulled the two wings apart, so it's a little bit of touch up and glue them back together again. But nevertheless, it's looking pretty good and did an idea of the shape and the size of this guy. Again, there we go. It's not even going to fit on camera, but it's going to look really awesome. So, 
can print out the deck there. So yeah, so we're pretty much done now. So this is the main painting done. Like I said, um, I'm gonna wrap the video up and we'll come back next week and we'll work on the the decals, which is gonna be a big chore because you know, that sheet, we have basically this whole thing's gonna be covered in decals. So looking forward to it. That's gonna really obviously gonna make or break this model, the decals, and uh, be a lot of fun for sure. So thank you as always for watching and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.